And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Have you men of the jury reached a verdict? We sure have, Your Honor. And what is your verdict? Well, uh, ain't nothing for it but to find a defendant, Jericho Borden, guilty of plugging his partner, Baldy Yates, in the back, so that's what we done. He finds him guilty. I see. Jericho Borden, you've heard the verdict of the jury. Have you got anything to say in your own defense? I've done told you four or five times already. I ain't saying nothing. Nothing at all. Well, I'm sorry, Jericho, that you seem fit to maintain this stubborn silence. But you've been convicted of the murder of your partner, Baldy Yates. And it's the judgment of this court that you be imprisoned in the state penitentiary for the rest of your natural life. <laughs> Francie Louis, a prison guard, help you to escape. And for that, you promised me much gold. But I done told you, Frankie. I uh, swear to it on a stack of Bibles. There's just something I got to do. A errand I got to take care of on the outside. I'll come back. Honest, I will. In not more than ten days, I'll be back. Uh, I ain't hurting the government just by getting out for ten days, am I? Maybe you killed somebody. Maybe you killed two, three people. You are the murderer once already. I ain't either a murderer. And I don't want to kill nobody, nobody at all. But you would be gone, and I, frankly, would lose my job. This is a big favor you ask of me. I know it is. A mighty big favor. But it means the whole world to me. And you won't have to work no more. I'll make you rich. Rich for life. How are you going to do that, Jericho? That's my business, Frankie. I ain't saying no more. Make up your own mind. I have made up my mind. What's going to do? I think it's so you make the escape. Good man. You ain't never going to be sorry. But you make the escape my way, Jericho. What do you mean? We go together, the two of us. <laughs> I quit my job. And I go with you on these so little errands of yours. Good. Then, well, if you tell Francie the big lie, maybe I have to shoot you. Have it your way, Francie. As long as I get out, I ain't care much what the rules are. <laughs> Another job done. Another prisoner turned over to take his punishment. Sorry for the old fella, too. Oh, and all the way to see what the next job is going yeah. to be. They, they look like they're uh, coming right toward us. By golly, it's good that the pussy is sure you ever saw. Yeah, sure is. Buddy. Yeah, I wonder if I could ever get me a girl that's pussy. <laughs> <that one. laughs> Well, I don't reckon you can make much headway with her. Young fella holding on her arm sure looks like he's plumb interested and going to stay that way, too. <laughs> he's looking out there, that's like me. Yeah, listen, I just said more than I ought to search. You know, they want us to deny you. Hey, you're right, why didn't you? Come right up to her. Pardon me. 
Are you the sheriff or oh, the... the United States Marshal, Susan. Somebody oh. bad means. But maybe he can give us some information. My name is Whipple, ma'am. I'm a United States Marshal, all right. And this is my deputy, Whitey Larson. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just call me Whitey, ma'am. I'm awful easy to get the clues. <laughs> well, my name is Susan Borden. Oh, yeah, how do you do? And this is Mr. William Cornell, a, a friend of mine. Whipple, you said. So are you Lightning Jim, the famous Marshal? Yes, oh. right. I don't know if how you can call me famous, but I'm generally called Lightman Jim, all right. Oh, then maybe you can help us. Yeah, I've I... got to find my father. Something's happened to him. I know it has. Well, what is the it? The mother's nearly it. I took most of our money to come out here, and Bill wouldn't let me come along. Now, now, I... calm down, honey. You're talking a mile a minute. Marshal, is there any place we can sit down and tell you all about this? Well, uh, come on in the hotel, yes. Yeah. Of course, it ain't much of a hotel, but there's plenty of chairs and not quite so much sun. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, but I have to tell you about this. Like me, you speak off your mind too much. Hmm? You shouldn't have told her I thought that her father was in jail for killing him. Oh, you didn't tell a man not to liberty. You couldn't. Now, there, there, honey, the marshal here is just trying to give you the facts of the case. Well, there weren't a lot of facts, all circumstantial evidence. But Jericho, your pa, wouldn't say one word to defend himself. He just closed up like a clam, and the judge had to find him guilty. Well, you see, Marshal, Jericho has always written home to Susan and her mother, and spent what little money he could. It wasn't much, because Jericho was just another prospector waiting for the big strike. Yeah, the country's full of them, trying to get a grub state. <laughs> Always hoping that the next time out, he'll strike it rich. But he did. He brought us said so. And then when we didn't hear another word from him, we couldn't help for Well, uh, well what letter? Oh, Susan got a letter about six months ago. Jericho stopped the stage someplace to mail it to her. The letter was jumbled up quite a bit, as if he'd written it in a hurry. Oh, I've got the letter here, Marshal, and you read it. Yeah. Let me see if there's this too. I've done it at last. I've found gold and lots of it. Enough to put diamonds on you and your ma from head to foot. I've got a partner now, and naturally he gets half. But there's plenty for all of us. Yeah, I bet you that's why he kept still when he was arrested. He didn't want nobody else to find out about this gold. But he couldn't have killed his partner. He said there was plenty for both. Oh, he's just a little marshal in your feet. Yes, sir. Then he goes on to say... We're on our way to record our claims now. I'm going to get this letter on the stagecoach. It'll be coming along here now pretty soon. I'll write you a long letter as soon as I've filed the claim. The love and part. The love and part. Yes, sir. You ever said let them mail that last one? Fort Anderson. Fort Anderson? Yeah. That means it was put on the stage coming in from Horsehead. Jericho was probably on his way to Fort Anderson, too, to record the claim. And he knows the stage would make better time, so he just stopped it and gave him a letter. Oh, and then, and then his partner, Baldy, he got shot, and uh, Jericho got picked up by the sheriff who oh, was uh, riding around. Yeah, and never did record his claim. Never had a chance to. Marshal, could you arrange for me to see my father? Oh, please, I must talk with him. I know he didn't commit a murder. I've got to find out something so I can write mother. Well, that ought not be so hard to arrange, Miss Susan. I'll get, I'll get in touch with the warden. Well, uh, sure, that's the warden himself. Sir Sandy, that's just going to come up to see you. Somebody said they'd seen you come in here. Thank heaven you're still on the spot. What's up, warden? Jericho Borden got away. Jericho Borden? Yeah, yeah. Jericho got away. My father got away. Yeah, first prison escape I ever had. Frankie the guard did his course. But why, why in tarnation would Frankie help the old car to get out? I ain't never noticed no milk of human kindness running out of Frankie. He's got vinegar in his veins. Whitey, we've got to get them two men before... Before what? Right. Before there's just one of them. Come on. Gold. A metal found in the earth. In deserts and mountains, hidden, washed down by rains, buried for centuries. A metal not of itself dangerous. But from the first time that gold was considered as money, death has lurked beside it. Yes, death rides with gold. And in the days of the Old West, the United States Marshals rode with death too, trying to outwit him, trying to protect the civilized rights of men against the power of trickery and brute force. And at the same time that Lightning Jim Whipple, United States Marshal, and his loyal deputy Whitey Larson learn of the discovery of gold which has made of Jericho Borden a convicted murderer and a state convict, Miles out on the desert, two men, Jericho and Frenchy, ride across the shifting desert sands under the heat of the desert sun. We could go faster than this, Jericho. Prison would have discovered that this bird had flown by this time. Maybe so. We can't take a chance on wearing our horses out. 
Let's take it slow. Two more days of riding ahead of us. No more horses. Don't forget that, Frankie. I yes, forget nothing, Jerry Cole. You have promised me much. And for promises alone, I have got you out of prison. Bought horses and food. I paid my own money. Yet you do not trust me. Now listen, Frankie. I ain't never going to forget all you've done for me. Never. But you're going to get paid back. Plenty. But you tell me nothing of where he's going. Maybe you plan to trick me, we Trick you? How could I do that? You got a gun? I ain't. I just ain't telling nobody where the stuff is. But you will lead me there. Of course. I've got to see that nobody else ain't knocked down my markers and jumped the claim. As soon as I see that, we'll ride like bloody blazes for Fort Anderson and file our claim. Fix this oh, but Fort Anderson will have word of your escape. To ride in there will be to put your head back in the trap. I want not fool you none, Frenchy. I'm going back to prison, all right. What kind of a life do you think I'd have, anyway, always a running from the law? I do not understand these things. You get out, but you go back. What good will your gold do you then? Won't do me no good, personal. But I've got a wife and a daughter back east. It's for them I want to get my clean files. As long as they get the money, I'm satisfied. <laughs> you are a strange man, Jericho. <laughs> I drink to you. You better go stirring on that water, Frenchy. We don't find no more till we get to... Well, till we get to where we're going. And uh, where is that, Jericho? I ain't telling. That's my secret. But it will be mine soon, Jericho. I am your partner. Remember. I'm going to speak straight out, Bill. You ain't going to be much help to us on this trip. You better stay here with this thing. Hey, oh, I like this right, Bill. Uh, this is our business, not yours. And furthermore, Miss Susan should not to be left alone. You know, she's just a delicate young girl. You know? I know. You think I can't ride and can't shoot. You think I'll be a hindrance to you? Well, I don't want to hurt your feelings, none, Bill, but that's just what you see. Well, then I'll follow you. Susan's going to marry me, but not until we get this matter of a father straightened out. So I'm going along if I have to go by myself. I can stick on a horse, all right. Don't worry about that. Well, you know, you're arguing with you, I guess. But, well, you don't know what the desert's like. You ain't nothing to laugh at. Sure, the, the sun beats down on you every minute of the day. Till you, you just think you can't get your breath no more. And when it starts going down, well, that's when you really feel lost. Not in a sea for miles, but sand and sand and sand. You can't scare me. I'm going along. All right, then. Got everything all right, buddy? So sure, keep that no spot the food, everything you need, all right. I don't exactly know where we're going. That's the bad thing. If this letter was put on the stage someplace between Fort Head and Fort Anderson, at the beginning, at least. Well, we better get going before trouble and sort spread a lot over somebody. <laughs> Father, is it Jericho? Uh, what is it about guns? We'll hit the trail early tomorrow morning. Then far from here. In a couple of hours ride into Fort Anderson and the uh, thing's done. Yeah, the water I'm thinking of, Jericho. Are you sure there will be water at the uh, place we are going? Uh, maybe it's the, the spring has run dry. Yeah? It ain't no spring. It's a creek. Good tired creek. Come down from them hills over there. Yeah, it's going to run dry. Oh, but you can't be sure of finding it again, can you? Uh, it ain't been a desert prospector all my life for nothing, Frankie. Oh, it's wind. It's wind. Yeah, maybe we're in for a sandstorm. Sandstorm? I do not like that. Then we really get lost. No. Fox, this is kind of tight enough. We ain't going to get lost. We're at top rolling over both of us. Get close to the earth. We'll get through this all right. I'm too close to get lit now. But Jericho, the sandstorm will wipe out all your markings. How will you find your gold again? Oh, it ain't going to wipe out that mystique tree that looks just like a Christmas tree. Or the red stone on the creek. And in between them two markers is the gold. Will Jericho and Frenchy survive the sandstorm? And how are Lightning Jim, Whitey, and Bill Faring in their pursuit across the desert? Well, part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim follows immediately.
And now for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim. When news comes of the escape of Jericho, Lightning Jim, Whitey, and Bill start in pursuit. We now find Jericho and Frenchy on the morning after the sandstorm. Jericho, I see water ahead. Is it really water or just a mirage? That's water, all right. We've done it, Frenchy. We've got to cross the desert. And from here on, we... From here on what, Jericho? We put up a monument, get into Fort Anderson, fire our cranes and... Frenchy, what are you doing with that gun? <laughs> I just aim it on an escaped convict, that is all. Oh, you wouldn't <laughs> it. You, you don't know yet where the gold is. Oh, but you, you told me last night, remember? Oh. The tree in the sea tree that is shaped like a kitchen tree, and it is red stone on the creek. There is the gold. Oh, but if you kill me now, you'll be a murderer, and the law will be after you. It won't help you. Oh, oh you're a fool, Jerry. Oh, no, my oh, story is easy. Uh, I sit in here. Then I ride into Fort Anderson and file the claim myself. Oh, no. After that, I tell my story. You escape by tricking me. I follow you and shoot you. But you are the escaped prisoner, and I am a guard doing my duty. Don't worry, she please, my wife and son. Oh, very well, I hope. But you, Jericho, have this sudden illness. <laughs> An illness from which you do not recover. It is sad, we. It's not a trap to fall, Lightning. Just so gone stone stone sure didn't throw us no good. Well, let's hope it didn't do French and Jericho no good either. Are you coming, Bill? I'm all right. I can keep up. Now, at least the story can hardly see any force, Lightning. You won't use for this time, will I do? Well, he would come. I can't slow down now. I don't know why, but I got a hunch of trouble at him, You see, all you have him for any trick we said was on last year. Yeah. It ain't hard, eh? Rest the horses, get some more water, and start scouting around. Yep, this is the general location, all right. You like me? Hey, look over there. Yeah. Horse tied up. Get the gun out and be careful. Well, you stand back, sir. You ain't in a bun fight, sir. Well, that doesn't give you any problem. You ain't going to kill him, are you? Yeah, you'll get a fair chance. Don't be afraid of that. Come on, Whitey. Look, like him. They're there on the ground. That's the man. Like you, he's sneezing back. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'll get some water. Yeah, hurry up with that water, Whitey. I think we found Jericho, all right. What is it, Lightning? What have you found? Come on over here, Bill. Hurry up, Whitey. Did you talk, old time? Yes, sir. You better help me. Thank you, Bill, the brother. Yeah. 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 Right in. No, no, I'll call me Mr. Fast if I can. Uh, I've got my hat full of water and I soaked my shirt too. Yeah. Yeah. Drink some of those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to go for feeding in the night. We've got to get to Fort Anderson before Frankie does. I'm going back to prison. All I want is to find the McLean for my wife and the kids. You got here. Uh, Whitey, you and Bill take care of Jericho here. Uh, what are you going to do, Lightning? Like I'm this? going after Frenchy. He's got a head start, but I've got to beat him to Fort Anderson before he can file kill him on Jericho. But Bill don't need you, Whitey. Ready now, boy. You follow me fast as you can. Come on, Sunday, here where you do your part. Let's go! <laughs> Anybody been in here to record a claim within the past hour? Lightning, Jim! Well, where'd you blow in from? Never mind that. Anybody been in here to file a claim within the last hour? Nope, nobody been in here all morning. I- I've been sitting here playing solitaire. <laughs> I beat myself twice a day. Martin, I'll be trying the trick. Mm-hmm. You get out of here. I'm going to be asked there for a while. But you ain't qualified. Well, man, stop making objections. I'm handling this, and I don't want you to spoil things for me. Get right, out. All right, I'm on my way, but I sure don't understand none of this. <laughs> Come to the right place, sure enough. I've got the location all written down. You know, solitaire is a funny game, sure enough. 
You just can get the aces out there, sitting pretty. I ain't in a hurry, and I don't like being kept waiting. Oh, 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 excuse me. Be right with you. Now, where's that book? Honest, I've got more trouble keeping track of my claim book than the dog with fleas. I don't have all day to wait. Will you hurry? Yeah, here, here, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let me see. Well, well what's the date today? Fourth or fifth? <laughs> don't you even know the date? Well, yesterday was the fourth, all right, so, so today must be the fifth, huh? Now, isn't that smart? You are a very quick man with the brains, isn't you? Why, oh, get along, all right. What's your file and claim on? Strip mm-hmm. of land about a mile square. Yeah. yeah. What's your figuring on doing? Starting a little ranch or you really think that's gold, huh? Never mind what I think. You just write. Yeah, well, I got even ten right there. Well, uh, suppose you start telling me where you want to file this claim. It's down by the Horsehead Creek. Yeah. You started the big red rock on the creek, go one mile south to the state, driven in the ground. Oh, well, you now hold on, hold on. I, I, I can't write that fast. Red Rock on East Creek, going one mile north. South, you in the field, south. South, all right, south. One mile south to a stake. You are there a stake there? I drove it myself this morning, of course I know. Then go one mile east to the mesquite tree. <laughs> east to a mesquite tree? <laughs> that ain't much of a description. Lots of mesquite trees around there. And this one is marked with my initials. There it is. Well, that helps some. Is to a mesquite tree marked with the initials L.C. And but then north to the creek, west along the creek to the place of starting. And then north to the creek and east along. West along west. Hey, you sure do get wild in a hurry, don't you, mister? West it is to the place of Egypt. That's what we say instead of starting. Not that it makes much difference, I guess, but we always say... I do not to... care what you say as long as you say it and get it over with. Now read that over to me. All right, all right. Now let me see now. On Horsehead Creek, beginning at the big red rock on the creek, then one mile south to a stake driven in the ground. You that stick there, mister? I already told you I drove it myself just this morning. All right, all right. Just trying to be helpful, that's all. From there, one mile east to a messy tree marked with the initials L.D. You know, <laughs> I found my initials on the tree once back in the bar. Oh, no, I lose my temper. I go insane. Will you read me that description? Oh, great practice, man. Maybe you had a touch of too much sun. Well, let me see. From the tree north to the creek and then west along the creek to the place of the gym. That's it. My name is Louis Dubinet. How much do I owe you? Oh, how you spell it? L O U I S D U D O N N E T. Oh, uh huh. French, ain't it? And French, we. Oui. Yeah. Frenchy, did you say? Wait. Sometimes I'm called Frenchy Louis, we. Oui. But you want your name written down as Louis Dubonnet, huh? Dubonnet. I think that's the price. Look what I went and done. Now, look the name I wrote down. Ain't Louis Dubonnet at all. Dubonnet, you fool, you imbecile. What have you done now? Jericho. Jericho Borden? Yeah, Jericho Borden. The name that should be there. Wait for the sky, Frenchy. You're under arrest. You'll never take me to me. No, no. My eyes. You, give me a minute. Find him. That's Frenchy. Get him. Get him. Get out of my way. Oh, no, you don't. Find him. All right. You ought to let him. But Frenchy won't try to file no more claims. I can't see. Devil's so rude in my face. Oh, I can see that. Uh, when you file a Frenchy, you miss him and shut my hat off, my gun. No, if that's any way to get you. There. There. Now I can see a little. Like me now, I've been telling you now for three, four years, you shouldn't go away without me. You need me to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> well, maybe you're right, Whitey. But how'd you get this so soon? Well, uh, Bill, he was able to take, uh, take care of Jericho, and I followed you just as fast as I could. Uh, not as fast as Thunder, but I got to. Yes, in terms of all your fears for you. <laughs> Lightning, don't you know little boy should have been with it, <laughs> So, you see, Marshal, I, I didn't murder Baldy. We, we found this gold, and we knew it was a rich claim, all right. Well, Baldy started to act sort of peculiar right away. You got suspicious of him? Yes, sir. 
You see, folks, about three miles after the place where we crossed the stage coach trail, I seen Baldy Singh in his gun. All of a sudden, he shot at me. Well, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Go to sheriff. Found that one shot had been fired from Baldy's gun, but you refused to explain that. You refused yeah, to say anything. I fired in self-defense, meaning to win. But my heart got scared and jumped, and I killed him dead. I see. I couldn't tell nothing about it without telling about the gold. And that would have meant a gold rush before I could find How did you get on to the fact that you discovered gold? I gave him a letter to the mayor of the season here. And he opened it and found out the next. I didn't give the location of the man, but I asked Susan to come on out here so I could tell her. I never got that letter, Father. No. Then she kept it and told me so. But I couldn't do nothing else about it. I thought I could watch Frenchie so he wouldn't put nothing over on me, but he was too smart for me. Did my father have to go back to prison, Marshal? Oh, I think the case can be reopened now that Jerry told talk and tell his side of the story. <laughs> I don't think you have much to worry about, Miss Susan. Oh, Father, you and I in jail all together, and it's intense with Mother. And we can get married. You don't belong in here like this. Yeah, oh, just what oh, I was thinking, Whitey. Oh, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> well, there's another case out of our hands, Whitey. Everything seems to have turned out all right. Oh, yes, like a book, like yeah. it. Yeah, it's a fine school. And it turns out you ain't the murder. No. <laughs> and Miss Susan Mary still and they live happily ever after. Yeah. Ah, me. Why don't things like that ever happen to me? <laughs> well, maybe you just ain't cut out to be the hero of no book writing. Oh, maybe not, but I'll tell you again, like you, you'd better not try to go off and do things that aren't me. You always get yourself into trouble. <laughs> I don't know, as things are so, I spend all my time just taking care of you. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of those two fearless United States Marshals, Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.